So I think that um, most uh, employer employee arrangements have uh, the setting where um, the wage is set by some kind of negotiation between the worker and the firm. And in that setting, uh, you have uh, essentially imperfect competition uh, in the background. Not everybody can quit their job and find a better job or find the same job. And so understanding how wages are actually determined, I think it's extremely important to keep in mind that the opportunities for individual workers are often somewhat limited and the number of people who could hire them at any point in time could only be a couple of other employers or maybe only just one other employer. I started working on minimum wages uh, in the late 1980s and most of the work that I did uh, was really done in the early 1990s. Um, and so my own research is really more than 20 years old, but uh, at that time uh, there had been almost no new research on minimum wages for many decades. And the opportunity came to study the effects of um, very narrow minimum wage increases that only affected one set of workers relative to another. And, and uh, my colleague at the time, Alan Kruger, and I used that opportunity to try and study minimum wages in a, in a sort of new way. And uh, we, the results that we obtained at that time were quite controversial and not what people had expected. But subsequently, I think many other studies have found fairly similar results, including the most recent evidence from Germany when they introduced the minimum wage in 2015. So um, I think we were lucky in that we found this out relatively early. And I've done a, a couple of later projects uh, with IEB folks on um, linking firm productivity and management practices to uh, wage outcomes. Um, and then most recently, I've been working on a a project that will try and um, combine information on firm um, financial conditions and worker outcomes with IAB data.